Let me know if you guys can hear me. Let me know if you guys can hear me. Let me know if you can hear me. Keep sending in your questions. As always, Ray, I can see in the chat. Um, you can hear me now, though, right? Let me let me just confirm that. I think you can hear me now, Ray. I think you can hear me now. I think you can hear me now. I think I was muted. Yes, Baron. Let's go. Thank you. Uh, Ray says, I know you must be upset about the Villa game. Yeah, I just don't want to talk about that. <laughs> uh, what do you think this actually will be for Allianz Arena? Probably the way we played against Man City, very defensive. Um, FIFA Bot says, I told you Glenn Haaland will be ghosting the entire game. And he did. Yes, he did, FIFA Bots. Yes, he did the first leg. I didn't expect it to be that, that bad. And I did expect the game to be high scoring. So it was a surprise that they got three goals. The mic keeps going off. Sorry about that. Let me just um, check something. Just a moment. I think it should be okay now. How are you doing, RK? I am doing completely good. Waiting for the Champions League, man. Really ready for the round. It should be a very good round. Um, let's see um i'm back again i'm back again Red. do not worry about that so let me show you guys how my team is looking right now let me show you how my team is looking right now i already made all my changes i already made um all three of my transfers um let's remove this from the screen let's see let's see so this is how my team is looking so rafinha is in my team had an incredible first leg and i'm expecting that game to be another open game so and this time rafinha is at home so i have gone with rafinha the only issue is that he's a striker in the game um i usually prefer him being a midfield in the game but i um, mean this game is a striker so i had to find a way for him to come in and i've brought him in i think i took out let me just check where I, which players i took out i took i did take out three players i brought in three players let me just confirm that so so Ramiro went out of my team. I brought in a new goalkeeper. I've brought in Lonin um, for Ramiro. Ramiro was obviously eliminated a long time ago, so I had to take him out um, from the team. I also brought in Rafinha um, for Morata. Morata didn't do anything completely in the first leg. It was absolutely terrible. I've taken him out. I've brought in Rafinha to the team. And I've also brought in Kubasi. Kubasi is another player who's been brought back to my, uh, not back, first, for the first time Kubasi is in my team, mainly because he's a cheap option. I um, mean, that is the only way I could afford bringing in players like um, Rafinha and players like, and another goalkeeper in Lunin. I had to bring in Kubasi and take out one of the Man City players. So now I don't have any Man City defenders and I did see Walk and Ake were fit in the last game, but it's too late. I've already made all my three transfers. I wanted to take out one of the Arsenal players, but I take out one of the Arsenal players 
But um, I had to take out first the likes of Ramiro, who already eliminated. So next time you have five transfers, if things go completely south, then let's say Man City and Arsenal both go out and they lose how many players? Four, five, six. I lose like six players. We do have five transfers next time, and I'm happy to have like two 13 players in total for the semi-final first leg. Absolutely no problem. But that is how my team is looking. I brought in I'm learning. I've also brought in Kubasi and I've also brought in Rafinha. So Real Madrid and two Barcelona players. I did want to get Vinicius in, but I just didn't know how to which position to have him, uh, which uh, to take who out, whether it was Haaland or Kane. And um, Kane is playing at home, Haaland is playing at home, so I just decided to keep both of them. I know FIFA but say um, Haaland blanked and um, he was put in the first leg, but I don't know. I would not be surprised if you went and got a goal or two in the second leg and the game ends in another 3 2 or 2 2 or 3 3. It could be the same, but this time Haaland is the one scoring instead of Bernardo Silva and Foden. It could be um, any of that. So that my team is looking like Kubasi, Cancelo, and Hamels, um, and then Cavayal and Slib as the other defenders, and then uh, goalkeeper Oblak and Lunin. And then midfield, Bellingham, Foden, Saka, Odegaard, and also um, Rice. And then up front, I have Kane, Haaland, and Rafinha. So that is how my midfield is looking and the striking force as well. I did want to take out Rice, but um, I didn't really have anyone for that price to bring in in midfield. So if I wanted a different midfield, I'd have to, uh, had to take out Saka and Odegaard. And Saka and Odegaard did perform in the first leg. Um, Odegaard picked up man of the match and um, Saka scored in the first leg as expected. So... It went how I expected in terms of Kane scoring, Saka scoring, and all that. So let's see. Imagine, imagine PSG does a comeback, says Ray. Um, I'd not be surprised if they, that game could be another three-two. This time it could be PSG winning three-two. Who knows? It could be anything. Um, PSG Barcelona lineups are out, says Baron. Let me just check them. Um, Dortmund as well. Let me get on Twitter. Let me get on Twitter. Um, for Madrid, I would suggest not to bring anyone until we call. Uh, win because Etihad won't be easy. Yeah, but um, you still won't like fail to score. I know last season it was tough, but um, the previous season when Vinicius scored and all that, I feel like you guys are going to score. Um, I think it's going to be a 3-2. I don't know who's going to win. I'd not be surprised if Real Madrid not won that game 3-2 or something. I'd not be surprised at all. Um, any team can win. Um, Real Madrid, Real Madrid. Where is Real Madrid? Let's see. Let me get the squads. Let me get the squads. Haaland, Vini, Mbappe, would you transfer anyone in the front or save to move elsewhere? Depends on how the rest of your team is looking, um, Marcus. But Haaland, Vini, Vini, definitely keep. I would have wanted him as well, but I just didn't have enough transfers to bring him in and the money as well. I didn't have enough money. Mbappe are very quiet in the first leg. They weren't passing the ball to him at all. I don't know why. Like, he wasn't getting any shots off. He was caught offside, like, four times or something. So... It's a tricky one, but again, I'm expecting another open game. I did say after the first leg, the Arsenal and the Atletico Madrid games, I know it was 2-1 and 2-2 last time, but those ones expect them to be a little bit tighter. Um, but the Real Madrid game and the Barcelona game, I expect them to be another 3-2, another 3-3. Three, three. Um, so Dortmund have um, Kobel in goal, Schlotterbeck um, at the back, Hamels, uh, Madsen, um, Ryerson, Adeyemi, Sabitza, Brandt, Fulkrug, Sancho um, as their squad. Um, I hate when these teams post the lineups looking like this, mixed up in terms of numbers. Um, so, yeah, Sancho is playing, Fulkrug is playing, uh, Madsen is playing, uh, Hamels is playing. I do have Hamels, so Hamels is starting. That is great. Um, Chan is also starting. Atletico Madrid, they have Oblak, Jimenez, Azpilicueta, Depaul, Koke, Griezmann, Llorente, Molina, Morata, Witzel, and Hamoso. So, I had Morata, but I took him out for Rafinha. Hopefully that works out, mainly because also Morata subbed off and it really annoyed me that he got subbed off in the first leg. But um, both of them are starting. So that is the Dortmund and Atletico Madrid lineups. Hakimi Okubasi. Hakimi is now back, by the way, Baron. Um, he missed the first uh, the first leg. Uh, thank you for reminding me of that. Yeah, I've not, I don't have him in my team, but he is back now. He is going to attack a lot. The way Cancelo was attacking for Barcelona in that first leg, I think Hakimi is going to do the same thing. Um... I would still go for Kubasi, though, because I feel like Barcelona are going to win um, or keep this, the scoreline. They're going to stay ahead. It could end up in a draw today, but Barcelona goes through. So I would bring in Kubasi, and also he's cheaper. You can use that money elsewhere. I agree with Ray. So um, let's see. 
Let's check the other team. Barcelona, Ter Stegen, Cancelo, Araujo, Pedri, Lewandowski, Rafinha, De Jong, Gunduan, Kunde, Yamal, and Kubasi. And then PSG, Donnarumma, Hakimi, Makinho, Zimbabwe, Ruiz, Dembele, Vitinha, Hernandez, Mendes, um, Bacola, and Emre. Emre did not start last time, surprisingly. So I think every one of my team is starting. I don't have any PSG players, unfortunately. And I have three Barcelona players. Um, weird. It looks like I'm a Barcelona fan. <laughs> Rafinha, Kubasi, and Cancelo. Now, in terms of today as captain, today you can go for a differential. If you're going to captain either Haaland tomorrow, or Kane tomorrow, or Saka tomorrow, or Vinicius tomorrow, or Bellingham. Um, you can go for a differential today. So even if you feel like Cancelo can do something today, you can go for him. Um, Kubasi, I think, is too much of a risk. And uh, Rafinha is definitely a captain option. If you have a player from Atletico Madrid or Dortmund, you can also go for them. So for me, today I have four players playing. Then tomorrow I have a lot of them, a lot of more players playing tomorrow. So I'm happy with this team. All my subs, all my transfers are made already. So nothing to... Nothing to really change here, but maybe from captain, if I decide to move from Rafinha to Cancelo. Rafinha is playing, right? Of course he is. So it's Rafinha, Lewandowski, and um, Yamal. And then De Jong, Gunduan, and Pedri. So hopefully Rafinha delivers again today. Last time he picked up a lot of points. Let me just confirm that again. He had 13 points last time, um, so that was a lot. He scored two goals. He had two ball recoveries um, in that game as well. Cancelo last game. Cancelo was a bit greedy in the last game. He wasn't passing the ball. He wasn't um, kept on taking shots by himself from weird positions. Cancelo, the best aspect uh, about Cancelo is the ball recoveries. Ever since he was at Man City and Bayern Munich in the Champions League, he was getting a lot of ball recoveries. There's a time I think he was at Man City, got like 12 or 13 ball recoveries in one game, which was absolutely crazy. Didn't keep a clean sheet, but he got like 6.7 points, which is the great thing with Champions League fantasy. But Cancelo is always an option. If he scores a goal or gets an assist, you can look at this. Like against FC Port, he got a goal, he got an assist, and he got to play off the match, and he can get you something like 14 points. So Cancelo is definitely an option as well. Um, Mbappe or Vinicius says Baron, I would say, oh, that's tough. Walker is back for Man City, so Mbappe, Mbappe was very quiet in the first leg, though even more quiet than um, Haaland. Mm, between those two, I am going to say I'm going to say Mbappe because um, I feel like um, that's going to be a more high-scoring game than the Man City one. Um, Dre has gone for Vinicius, but um, I'm going to go for Mbappe. I think it's very close. When I say Mbappe, I mean like 52% Mbappe, 48% Vinicius. I'm only not going to go for Vinicius because Walker is back. Maybe it's going to be a bit of a battle there, maybe a couple of yellow cards. So I decided to go with Mbappe. And if Mbappe times his runs, he's going to get a, a couple of goals. He al always gets offside, um, but um, he's their main guy and he's also on penalties. So that's why I've gone for Mbappe. But Vinicius is not a bad option at all. I don't have any of them because I can't afford any of them. I would have had to take out a Foden or a Saka in midfield. And I expect both of them again to be on the score sheet in that game. Um, not 100%, but in terms of attacking returns, yeah, Saka could get an assist or a goal. Foden could get an assist or a goal as well. Let me go to the transfer page. Let me see how many people have Mbappe. PSG, 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 Mbappe. Mbappe is currently owned by 39%. Um, and uh, Vini, 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 Vini is owned by 17%. So Mbappe is owned by more. Vinicius is the differential. So if you go for Vinicius, it's quite a differential. He's 11 million and Mbappe is 11.6. So it depends. As I always say to you guys, you don't have to use all your money, your entire budget. If you even have like 0 0.6 remaining, 0 0.7 remaining, that money can help in the next round, especially if um. A couple of the big teams go out or the smaller teams go out, like a Dortmund or someone go out. That money will be help you in terms of maybe upgrading from a Dortmund defender to a Real Madrid defender or a Man City defender. That will really, really help you. So for me, though, I have zero million remaining. Uh, I balanced my squad in terms of... Um, the, the second leg. And I have three Barcelona players. I have four Arsenal players. Ideally, I would have wanted two Arsenal players, but I couldn't transfer them out because I had to get in a new goalkeeper in place of uh, Ramiro. So I went with Lunin. Um, I've also gone for two Man City players. I don't have any of the defenders. I have um, two Real Madrid players as well. I also have um, 
all black as well. So one Atletico Madrid player. So tomorrow, depending on what happens today, I'm hoping most of the players deliver from today. From my bench tomorrow, I'm going to bring in Saliba first before Declan Rice. If everyone, I mean, my current team delivers, I'm going to leave Declan Rice on the bench and then bring in Saliba for one of the defenders who doesn't get enough points. Then hopefully... Um, doesn't don't concede too many goals um tomorrow and um if they can go through absolutely fantastic so that is how my team is um looking if manstein both both manstein has to go out then it's a bit of trouble because you have to take out um six players but many people have Haaland at the moment um 56 percent have Haaland. if real madrid goes out a lot of people have bellingham anyway you can transfer him out next time he's currently owned by let's see 69 percent so Quite a lot, quite a lot. Which game are you guys watching today? By the way, Barcelona, PSG, are you watching the Dortmund Atletico Madrid game? Both of them are uh, both of them are going to be interesting, um, for sure. Both of them are going to be very interesting. So those are the lineups one once again. Barcelona Trastegen, Cancelo, Araujo, Pedri, Lewandowski, Rafinha, De Jong, Gunduan, Kunde, Yamal, and Kubasi, and then PSG, Donnarumma, Hakimi. Marquinhos, Mbappe, Ruiz, Dembele, Vitinha. Dembele was really good in the last um, last leg. The only thing about I don't like about Dembele and Rafinha is that they're strikers in this game. I wish there were midfielders in the game. Let me see. Dembele, 7.9, not bad. He's only owned by 2% Dembele, and he was getting involved a lot in the last game against Barcelona. So, And he'd want to score against Barcelona as well, his former team um, over in Spain. Lucas Hernandez is playing Mendes, Bacola, and Emre. So um interesting man city's team tomorrow i don't know if you're going to get any information on man city but i would expect Foden to start Haaland to start i don't expect them to rest any players tomorrow at um at all so that is how the team is um looking uh, let's see i'm tempted to call to captain cancelo i don't know why i'm really tempted to captain cancelo rafinha let me see how rafinha has done at home in these previous games he got two assists the last time against Napoli. Not bad. He didn't play against... Uh, he played against FC Porto, three ball recoveries. I mean, he hasn't played a lot in the Champions League this season. He also got two assists in the first game against Royal Antwerp. So, Rafinha has been on form. He's been on form. I think recently scored his first Champions League goal, so, and he ended up scoring two. He's picked up two goals and four assists this season, Rafinha. I think I'll just captain him. And now, let me know who you guys are captaining today let me know who you're captaining out of um today's games are you captaining a barcelona player psg player a dortmund player or are you going to captain um an atletico madrid player there's a few options griezmann as well the only thing about griezmann he doesn't like shooting the ball he loves uh, looking for assists and i was getting so annoyed in the first leg i was like shoot the ball why we keep on passing why do you keep on passing but uh, my team is ready this is the first time i've made um, maybe the second time i made transfers this early oh i actually have five players playing today not four i had forgotten about all black so rafinha cancelo kubasi Hamels, and all black ideally i want that um Atletico Madrid game and Dortmund game to end in a nil-nil draw. That will be um, fantastic. Um, races, captain, no one. Who are you captain in there? No one. Obviously, we've got to captain someone. Um, let me guess who you'd captain. I'm guessing you'd captain... It's so hard. I don't think you'd captain someone from Dortmund, Atletico Madrid, so probably Barcelona. I'm guessing you're going to captain someone from Barcelona. That is what I think you are going to do. So I'm happy with that. Let me check what rank I am in right now. I think I went up a bit. Let me see. League, leagues, leagues, leagues. I'm trying to finish at least in the top 2,000. Let's see. 6,000, 6,700 6, is not bad. I dropped to like 10,000 last time, so I climbed up like 3,000 um, positions. Number one has 736, 718. Let's see, 624. Yeah, it's going to be very hard to get to the top 1,000. It's uh, quite hard, man. The day I get into like the top 10 or top 20, I'll, I'll absolutely be over the moon, man. Champions League fantasy is one of the best games, man. What about everything football? I am 35th. There's a time I reached first. I think I reached top a couple of um, match days ago. But um, Hassan, um, Believer, has 682. Um, Nisia, 677. Jewels has 668. Biscuits has 664. Fares has um, 661. A lot of people in the 600s. Um, see which position I am in, 36th. So 
Yeah, there's still a chance to get into the top 20 and then everything football league, there's still a chance to get into the top 20 as well. Let me come to more of your questions. Let me go back to the team. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I am not, remember I told you that I retired. Oh, I remember you say that. If I didn't know you're doing that like this season. I thought you are going to do it from next season. I've given up how the team looked like if it was a, like a free hit. You've given up. You know, you can't give up right now. There's still a chance. But listen, the truth is the Champions League fantasy, the best time to like create a gap or not get left behind is in the group stage when you have your limitless and all that. All that has to work. If your limitless doesn't work and your wildcard doesn't work, you're going to be left behind a lot. So it has to work out for you, for you to like create a gap or be the same level in terms of points with everyone else you're competing with. Usually when you get to the quarterfinal and um, beyond, it gets very hard unless you get your captaincy right and everyone else gets it wrong, like people captain Bellingham and you captain Cavayal and Cavayal gets two goals and Bellingham gets a red card. That would work out for you. But um, when you get to the quarterfinal, everyone has the same team. Everyone has Ireland, everyone has Bellingham. As probably soccer, everyone has Foden, so it becomes quite similar. It becomes very hard to to catch up. But if I was making a free hit, um, I did a limitless video. If it was a free hit, I would have had Vinicius, I would have had Rafinha, I would have had Kubasi, I would have had probably Mbappe, Cancelo, maybe Emery, Foden for sure. Um, I'd have had Saka as well. Um, probably Molina from Atletico Madrid. Goalkeepers would have had um, All Black and um, maybe I'd actually have the two goalkeepers I have right now so it's very difficult because there's not too many players to pick from so you have to go for like at least two three differentials in your team so for me my differentials I'd say how many people have Kubasi three percent so Kubasi is um, a, a differential I also have to can I get the let's see how many people have Rafinha one percent so Rafinha is a differential he's only owned by one percent Kubasi is also a differential and um, Odegaard isn't really a differential. Salib, I don't think, is a differential. Nah. Declan Rice, 8%, I think, is high for now. Loney, 9%. So I'd say I have like around two differentials in um, in Kubasi and Rafinha. So I'm kind of up in Rafinha. If he's close today, only 1% have him, then I do completely well. Um, Baron says my team is Haaland, Vinicius, Rafinha, Bellingham, Rodri, Ford, and Saka, Emre, Saliba, Kanji, Molina, Hamels, Cancelo, Lonin, Oblak. 0.4 million left and one free transfer. So Haaland, Vinicius, Rafinha, I'm okay with that. Bellingham, Rodri, Ford, and Saka, Emre, Saliba, Kanji. Goalkeepers are fine, forwards are fine. I guess in your situation, you have to start looking now because you have to use that one free transfer because it's not going to be carried to the next round um, unless you just want to ban it and not use it. Um, I'd start planning for the next round. I know all the games are very tight this time around. Um, that's the problem. Usually by now you find like a couple of teams are leading by two goals and you already know they're going to go through. But in your situation, like in this season situation, there's three threes and two twos and three twos. No game, like there's no game that has been decided. Real Madrid could win, Man City could win, Bayern could win, Arsenal could win, um, Atletico Madrid could win, Dortmund could win, PSG could win, Barcelona could win. Like it's, I know people expect Man City, Bayern, but probably Barcelona and Atletico Madrid, but don't be surprised if like, there's a couple of surprises. So I think Atletico Madrid will go through, so I'd be happy to keep Malin and Oblak. <sighs> so tough, man. How many Arsenal players do you have? Two, I think that is fine. Belling and Rodri. Literally, there's no one in your team that I'd be, I want to take out, maybe apart from a Kanji Baron. Um, I'd be, I feel like Real Madrid will definitely score, so I'd be tempted uh, maybe to take out an Akanji and bring in maybe a Kubasi or someone like that. That's what I'd probably do. So in, when you do that, you'll also save a bit of money for the next round, Baron. I am doing good, FIFA bots. How are you? Uh, by the way, thank you for the help this season, even though it has not gone so well for me. Says um, Noak, I appreciate it. Um, every season cannot go well, obviously. Some seasons will um, be a bit hard. For me, last season was, um, I think last season for me was a bit all over the place. Um, captaincy did not work last season at all. I think I ended up finishing like 
50 or 40k around there but this season i've been in, in and around 6000 um and above i even got to like 200 in the world at some point so this one has been great last season was poor also in fpl fpl um last season was think terrible i think i was around 800k but this season i've even got as high as like 1500 right now it's like 300k so in and around this one has not been bad at all um some seasons are going to work some seasons are going to be um poor depending on the captaincy and how your limitless works and all that griezmann for rafinha um beraldo to gvadiel and rodri to musiela what do you think says ezra griezmann for rafinha um Beraldo to Gvadiol. Beraldo to Gvadiol. I think that is okay. Rodri to Musiala. So, like you mean removing Rodri and putting in Musiala. I'd be fine with that. Um Beraldo to Gvadiol, I'm fine with that. Griezmann for Rafinha. I don't know if I'd take out Griezmann for Rafinha. Who are your other strikers? Griezmann is away from home though, but he was really getting involved, and Griezmann is on penalties as well. That's my my worry. For me, I took out Morata for Rafinha, so it's a bit different. But I think Rafinha is a massive differential. I think if you can get Rafinha to your team, definitely get him to your team. The other two transfers I'm okay with. Uh, Marcus says, Haaland, Vini, Mbappe, Saka, Ford, and Rodri. The rest of your team has disappeared. I can't see it. Um, Ray says, no, I've stopped too much on my plate, just focusing on FPL from next. And if you want, I can help you make FPL content. I'd be happy to, I'd be happy to. The reason I don't make FPL content is because it takes a lot of time and I have all those other channels to run. Um, but I definitely play FPL every single, every single week. I never miss. Um, I've already made my three, uh, my two transfers, um, heading to the double game week coming up. Uh, PSG is going to win today, says FIFA bots. If they win, then we, we are talking about extra time. I don't think they're going to win with a two-goal margin. So we are looking at extra time, which would be great. If you get extra time from that game, means more more points for our players if possible. That would be great. Smelling, smelling a hat-trick from Ninja Turtle. I think he scored a hat-trick last time he went to Barcelona. Um, Bappi might score a banger today. I have a feeling as well, um, Bots and Ray. Best captain for today and tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, I'd look at the, at the home team. I'd probably say Man City tomorrow, to be fair. So probably Foden, I'd say Foden tomorrow. He also rested in the last game, so he's fresh. For today, today I'd say Rafinha or Griezmann, one of them, Rafinha or Griezmann. Leard, how are you? He says, Looney Nederson, goalkeeper. Um, you have goalkeepers playing on the same day, uh, the same day um, Leard. Both Lunin and Ederson are playing tomorrow. And actually the same game, not even the same day. Both the, both the same day and the same game. So you only have one goalkeeper pick there. Um, three free transfers to go. So obviously what I would do is I would change the goalkeeper to a goalkeeper playing today first. Cancelo, Kubasi, Ryerson, Saliba, Ake, Rice, Emre, Bellingham, Ford, and Saka. You still have three transfers. Wow, your team looks good for if you still have three transfers to go. 0 0.3 million left. So I would check out Edison. Edison. How much is learning right now? Learning, learning. 4.8. Edison is really the only goalkeeper you can take out because learning is very, very cheap. If you take out Edison, all of a sudden you have a lot of money to use. So I'd probably take out Edison for... I don't want to tell you to bring in Corbell because there's a chance Dortmund and Real Madrid could both go out and then you don't have a goalkeeper for the next round. Actually, you know what? I, I would I would bring in Corbell. I'd bring in Corbell for Edison um, because Oblak is very expensive and I'm trying to look for money to spread it uh, for your team. Um, so if I bring in Corbell, I'd also then take out Ryerson probably and bring in... It's tough, man. Let me know, Leah. What are you thinking? Goalkeeper first. Definitely change goalkeeper first. The, the, other, the rest of your team looks good. Maybe the only other player I can look at taking out is Ryerson or Ake. You have how many Arsenal players? Three. I wouldn't even mind if you took out maybe a Rice for a Rodri. Although I feel like tomorrow Arsenal are going to play very defensive and Rice is going to get those interceptions and ball recoveries, a lot of them. Best goalkeeper out of both days, I would say... I still say all black from both days. 
Haaland, Kane, Morata, midfield, Bellingham, for then your question is three transfers, zero in the bank. Wow, everyone still has three transfers. Ben White is fine. Cancelo, okay. I would not have two uh, Man City defenders, Rehan. I think Madrid will definitely score. Kobel, Lunin in goal. That is fine. Saka, Yamal, Musiala, Foden, Bellingham. I'd be very, very tempted to take out uh, Morata for Rafinha and then Akanji for Kobasi. That's what I'd do. The other transfer, let me know who you'd be thinking of taking out, uh, Ray, and I feel like the rest of your team is okay. Now, I don't expect a lot of goals in the Bayern Munich Arsenal game this time around. I think we are going to go and play very defensive like we did against Man City, so it could be like a 1-0 or 1-1 in that game. Vinicius and Haaland... So it's Ezra. What was your question? Griezmann for Rafinha, Beraldo to Rodri to Musiala, Vinicius and Haaland. Uh, Vinicius and Haaland are totally fine if you're asking uh, which one to go for. Thoughts on captaining Mbappe? Absolutely fine. Again, first leg, he didn't do anything, but he might get more spaces today. Marcus says Haaland, Vini, Mbappe, Saka for a. Uh, what would you do? Is it worth a minus four? Learning. So you only have one goalkeeper. Madsen, White. So, oh. You have two Salibas. That would be great. Imagine if we had two Salibas. We'd have won the title already. Kobasi, Leno, Jude, Rodri, Ford, and Saka. Ford line, that is fine. Now, I'd not take a minus four, um, Marcus. There's, I don't think it's a great time to take a minus four in the quarterfinals. No, it's not worth it. So just play with one goalkeeper. Just go with Lonin and that's it. Unless Lonin will not play tomorrow, which I think he will. Um, if I ask Ray, I think Lunin will definitely play tomorrow. So just play with one goalkeeper, Mike. It's not worth it bringing a, a goalkeeper for minus four. Raya, Cancelo, Matson, Akanji, Saliba, Kubasi, Saka, Foden, Rafinha, Kane, Haaland. Front line totally fine. How many Bayern players do you have? Kane, Musiala. You have Saka and Saliba. You have Cancelo and Rafinha, Kubasi. Yeah, I think this team is fine. I actually do think this team is fine. Absolutely no problem with that team. Um, so, yeah, Johnny, I think you're ready to go. Oh, you also have Raya. Do you have any transfers remaining, Johnny? Do you have any transfers remaining? I've swatched Bellingham for KDB, three transfers. Bellingham for KDB. Yeah, your team looks fine. Your team looks fine. Do you mean you've swapped Bellingham for KDB? Who did you remove? Or do you mean you've brought in Bellingham or have you brought in KDB? I would not check out Bellingham from the team at all, as I always say. Palma is giving Haaland a run for the Golden Boots. Um, yeah, for sure. Um, I still feel like there's a time Haaland is going to just score four goals and three goals and get to 27 very quickly. Um, I've swapped Bellingham for KDB. I read that one. Should have captained him. Um, Rodri Kimmich, Rice, Yamal, pick two. Yamal. I'd say Amal and Rodri. Um, the thing is that if I take out Ederson, then I'm kind of betting on Real Madrid to win, but I'm not sure about it. Um, no, it's because the rest of your team, I don't see anyone else that you can take out. I know what you mean. With Ederson, you're already planning for the next round. I know what you mean in terms of that. Then if you really want to keep Ederson, yeah, again... With those two, Ederson and Looney, it depends on who you feel will go through. I guess that is also kind of a personal choice. If you feel like Man City are definitely going to win, then you can take out Lonin. But when you take out Lonin, there's not too many other goalkeepers you can bring in. Um, Lonin plays tomorrow. So if you want a goalkeeper from, from today, because you have four, let's see, goalkeeper. You can't afford all black today. He also can't afford Donnarumma. Ter Stegen is 5.5. We also can't afford him. Cobell is 5 million. So the only goalkeeper you can afford, um, Liad, is Cobell for today. If you want to take out Lunin and Bet on Man City to win, then you can take out Lunin and bring in Cobell for today. And that will leave you with like um, only 1 million on the, in the bank or something. 0 0.1 in the bank. Then you'll have to ban your transfers unless you remove um how much is Emre right now? Emre is away from home, so maybe it's a that is a position that can be upgraded. Let's see. 
Um, let's see. Emre, Emre, Emre is 5.6. <sighs> Vitinho's more attacking. Let's see. Saliba, K. Rice. Seriously, there's not too many players that take out from your team. Yet, apart from one of the goalkeepers, they, yeah, I'll let you choose which one. Then Ryerson and maybe Emre or Rice. But the rest of the team looks good. There's no one else that um, I don't take out. If you feel braver, you can bring in Rafinha. I think Rafinha will do a lot today in terms of having a home game and the game being a, a bit open today. FIFA bot says, I currently got Cancelo, Rice, and Diaz, Gabriel, and Upamecano. Whom should I pick in exchange of Upamecano? So you have Barcelona, you have Dortmund, you have Man City, you have Arsenal. I'd not go for, I'd probably say, I'm going to say Kubasi. I'm going to say Kubasi because it's cheap and it's going to um, allow you some money in the bank for the next round as well. So I'm going to go for Kubasi for Upamecano. Haaland never shows up in big games. Take him out for Kane or Mbappe. If you want to take him out, I'll take him out for Mbappe. Um, the thing with Kane, um, Ezra, is that um, Kane didn't really get a lot of chances in the first leg. He only got that penalty. I don't think he got any chance at all. So Gabriel and Saliba did a good job on him. I don't think he's going to get a lot of chances in the second leg as well. The thing with um, Saliba and Gabriel, they don't allow too many shots in terms of um, of the centre forwards, but we were really exposed by Sane. Like on the wing, Sane was extremely quick. We could not deal with him. I think this time Atta will play Tomiyasu there. And um, so I'd go for Mbappe in terms of that. I think Mbappe will get more shots and more chances than what Ken would get tomorrow if he wants to take out Haaland. Ken or Musiala, if it's between those two, I'd still say Ken. Um, as well. If it's between those two Bayern Munich players, I'd say, still say Ken because he takes penalties. Uh, Musial as well did not get any chances from the middle of the pitch. Um, let me know what your other forwards are. So now Rafinha, Vinicius, Haaland. Oh, okay, okay. I asked you what are your other forwards are. Ah, okay, hear you. Um, that was your question, Vinicius and Haaland. So, okay, Griezmann. So you have Rafinha. I would, I would go for Rafinha, Vinicius and Haaland. That sounds good. Um, as well. If it's those three, that sounds good. But if you want to take out Haaland, that is fine. I I'm not going to take out Haaland at all. I'm going to keep him there. Bernardo KDB says, Johnny. I'm going to say Bernardo. KDB, again, he might get subbed off. That's what I'm worried about. It depends on how his injury is. I'm going to go for Bernardo and he's cheap as well. I hope you're good. Good luck in today's match. Day. I'm good, um, Ganji. I appreciate it. Hope you're good as well. Johnny says for Musiala. Gavadil for Akanji. I mean, Gavadil goes forward, uh, but I'm still, I'll still not go for Mansti defender. But if you want some um, Gavadil, I don't think is the I think is the best Mansti in terms of defender for this um, match. Because he can get attacking returns and crosses and all that. And ball recovery is up against whoever is playing on the right side. Want Madrid in the final so that Cotua can play. I think Cotua needs to rest until next season. He's had a very tough season in terms of injuries. But if you get to the semi-final final, obviously you, you'll probably need Cotua. When is he going to come back? Do you think Kim and Jai will play? Who did they play last time? Dyer and um who did they play last time? Dyer and they didn't play Upamecano. I think who was the defender that played on that day? Why have I forgotten? Alfonso Davis is out, so I think Guerrero will play. I think Dyer will play again. I think it could be Kim, and um, it's so hard because they have like four center backs rotating. I think they're going to go with Kim and Dyer, but I have no clue. They're going to go for, I think, Bayern Munich fans would have a, a better. Unless we check which defenders played against Cologne the other day. I know they play, I know they won 2 0 against Cologne. Bayern Munich, Cologne, Bayern, I think they won 2 0. Colon. Let's check something. I'm going to. I think Kim will play though, Baron. We all might agree that the winner between City and Madrid gonna win the UCL title. Uh probably. Probably. Mm, hopefully not, FIFA bots. Hopefully not. Uh now this is the thing. 
Um, if Arsenal beat Bayern Munich, I'd be more scared of facing Real Madrid because it's a team that you haven't really faced and obviously they definitely have more Champions League heritage. Um, Man City, I feel like if Man City beat Arsenal, it's going to be like a 1-0 or 2-1. So defensively, I think we can keep up with Man City over the recent couple of years. But for my, my Real Madrid, I don't know what to expect with Vinicius and Rodrigo. And those. But yes, uh, probably people will say Man City and Real Madrid. Um, but then again, it depends on how the fixtures turn up. If Man City end up, ended up facing Arsenal, you never know. If Real Madrid ended up facing Atletico Madrid, you never know. It depends on how the fixtures turn up because those teams that are playing with them in the leagues are usually used to them. Delete is also there. So Delete played with Dyer, um Baron. So they are Dupamecano and um and Kim on the bench. Maybe Tuchel doesn't like Kim though, so it could be delete. It still could be delete and die. Um, but I think die will definitely play. I hope he plays. Um, because he looked a bit shaky when he played last week, die. How Barcelona wins. I think it could be like a two-two, but Barcelona go through an aggregate. Uh, Bernardo any day in UCL, I agree. Man is a beast, a very underrated. They were about to sell him as well. Uh, in this transfer that has just passed. Rodri take him out for Musiala. No, I'd keep Rodri. I'd keep Rodri. The ball recovery is in the midfield, and I don't think Musiala gets a lot of chances in that game against Arsenal. Um, they got more advantage from the wings, from the midfield where there's Rice and Gabriel. I don't think they got too mean too much space. He'll be back in June. Then that's up until next season. I don't think he's going to go to the Euros as well. Ryan says the elite. The elite is there as well. Yep, he's the one who played. All black Raya. Three out of three transfers. You mean you've made all three transfers? So forward line, I have no problem with that. Midfield looks good as well. Defensively, Kubasi can sell a match, and that looks good as well. All black and Raya. If I was making a team from the scratch, uh, from scratch, I would have uh, probably have um, Gvadiol instead of Akanji, but absolutely no problem with that. Johnny says, what do you think about Leverkusen? Congratulations to them for winning Bundesliga. It's crazy to stop like 11, 12, 13-year run. It's crazy. Um, they've done incredibly well this season. I saw their top scorers list like um, Witz. Uh, Witz is up there. Um, Fring Pong, right wing back, has like 11 goals. Grimaldo has like 11 goals. Um, we gave them Xhaka. It's, it's worked out for them. They're a very, very good team. Now, I don't know if it's just one season good or they're going to be good again next season. Something tells me they could do a Napoli and ended up, end up finishing fifth, fourth next season and maybe drop off. That could happen. Maybe it's a one season thing like what Leicester had. But if they're able to keep all the players and the manager intact, they could have another uh, battling season. But Bayern Munich won't have to call next season. So I would expect Bayern Munich to win it again next season. But Leverkusen have been great, man, and beaten up until now. I expect them to reach at, at least the final of the Europa League as well. They could easily win three trophies this season, which is crazy. I expect them to win the Pokal. I expect them, they've already won the league. Europa League, you never know. Like, even if Leverkusen faces Atalanta or someone, you never know how it, it how it will go. So, they've been incredible, man. Um, if I was to pick a player from there to buy, I'd go for one of the wing backs. That would be absolutely great. Considering Leverkusen won, Bayern Munich will be aggressive. I know, man. I'm worried about that. Lewandowski or Kane for and take out Mbappe or Vinicius. Marcus says Lewandowski or Kane and take out Mbappe or Vinicius. If I was to choose between those ones, I'd keep Mbappe and Vinicius in the team. If you're asking me between those four, I'd have Mbappe and Vinicius in the team. If you're asking me who to bring in between Lewandowski and Kane, I'd go for Lewandowski. Best defender from Bayern. In terms of UCL fantasy for this match, I'd say Guerrero because he's slightly cheaper. He hasn't been playing. So I'd say Guerrero because he's going to play instead of Alfonso Davis. Johnny says Saliba wasn't good against Bayern. Um, yeah, he gave away the penalty. That was just, that was it though, because um, they didn't really create a bunch of chances apart from those two chances of the penalty and the one that we gifted to them. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't say they were great. Um, so I mean, it was the first goal was a calamity. Um, Raya was out of his goal line. Gabriel was passing the ball to Kivio. They messed it up. I think they, the ball that uh, passed Rice just in front of him, 
they absolutely put him out of the game with that one pass and then Saliba gave away a penalty later. Uh, it was all over the place. Ben White kept Nabri on side. Literally, the all like back six were at fault for both goals. It was crazy. Um, yeah, but um, it rarely happens. They were against those um, center forwards. I think they usually do a good job. Opamecano, best defender by Bayern defender. Absolutely not. I usually hear the Bayern Munich fans complaining about him. I have zero Bayern Munich players. Um, for me, I have um, one. Ken, I think if you're to have one, I think Ken is to want the one to go for. If you want Sun, it could be as well. That's fine as well. But um, yeah, I'd probably say actually Sun and Ken, because Sunny gave us a hard time. Jaka didn't, um, not Jaka, Jaka. Um, I've read what Johnny has written and thought about Jaka. He didn't get a chances, Ken. He didn't get any chances in the first leg apart from the penalty. My final team, Rafinha, Haaland, Vinny. That looks good. Um, I think you left out one midfielder or DJ Emre, Bellingham, Ford and Saka. Rodri, okay. Cancelo, Molina, Hamels, Kim, Saliba. So I think you balance it uh, well. Barcelona defender, Atletico defender, um, Dortmund defender, Arsenal defender, Bayern Munich defender. Yeah, I think the team is balanced well, Baron. Um, who are you going to captain? Pedri in for Musiala. Hmm... He got a wonderful assist, I think, for Rafinha in the first leg. Now, if, it, if, it, if it's between those two, I'd keep Musiala because he's more attacking. Are you sure he will play? Guerrero. Do you mean Guerrero? Yeah, Guerrero, I think, will play because um, Alfonso Davis is injured. Lewandowski or Kane? Between those two, I'd say Lewandowski. As I said, Kane didn't really get any chance in the first leg. Jaka left to win the title. I read that. You know, when Arsenal lose and then uh, Jaka wins the title and stuff, it's just better to just leave. I never, I actually never got online until today. I just knew what people would be saying. It's better to stay offline after a game like that. Who's better, Pomecano or Maguire? God, Johnny. Those are terrible choices, huh? Oh, that's a terrible choice, man. Pomecano is, both of them are like walking mistakes, man. <laughs> Opamecano Maguire. That, that's I think this is the worst question Johnny has ever asked. This is this is terrible, both of them. I'd still say boom. I'd you know what? I'd still say Maguire because I think Maguire plays well for England. Rafinha today. Um good captaincy choice. Musiala is still preferred because he's German. So he's Ray. Captains for today, I'd say Rafinha and Griezmann. Nice Brazil jersey. I love this one, man. I love the blue one. I also have the yellow one, but I do prefer this blue one. Maguire for England. Yes. Um, Learning to call Bell is done. Would you downgrade Saka or Cancelo to upgrade one of Ake or Ryerson? Oh, actually, good, good question, Yet, yeah, because if you can downgrade one of them and that can help you upgrade Ake or Ryerson, that would be great. I would not downgrade Saka, though. I think Saka and Arsenal score. Saka is definitely going to be involved, just like I said in the first leg. Um, yeah, I'd be willing to downgrade Cancelo and um, upgrade on uh, Ryerson. I'd probably be willing to do that too. Yeah, the defenders. Lois Leeds team again. Let me check Leeds team again. So you have Kubasi, Ryerson, Saliba, Ake, Cancelo. So if you're keeping Ederson, I'd have no problem with transferring out Ake because you don't have any other Dortmund cover. So keep Ryerson, upgrade on Ake, downgrade Cancelo. Uh, that is what I'd go for. Kubasi is an option to bring in Leard as well. Uh, do, do you already have Kubasi? Maguire, good for England. Okay, just okay for England. Not, not great, just okay for England. Mbappe or Griezmann captains for today, I'd say Griezmann. I do think both of them are going to get an attacking return, though. So top three captains for today, I'd say Rafinha, Griezmann, Mbappe. Mbappe is not a bad choice at all. He's definitely going to get a couple of chances today. I wouldn't downgrade Saka. I wouldn't as well. If you were to ask me from my Arsenal team, if I was to remove Arsenal players right now, I'd probably take out Trice or Odegaard, but not Saka. But players like Odegaard are very, um, they're, they're going to pick up man of the match easily because they like give a lot of passes and all that and that is what they look at. Cancelo, yes. Saka is the center of Arsenal. Um, 
In terms of goal scoring, yes, but in terms of the team to function, it's Odegaard. When you take out Odegaard out of that team, you're in a bit of problems. My net is scored a header for England. Man scored a header for England. Maguire, who do you guys think will win the Euros? Um, so that is we're also going to have Euro content in the summer, by the way. I'm going to do Euro um content. Will Fossil players be smart for tomorrow? Um, I mean, if I was to, I'm making a team right now, Baron would not have four Arsenal players. The only reason I have four Arsenal players is because I had other problems to sort out in my team. Like I, I, I still had Ramiro, the Real Sociedad goalkeeper. So I had to take him out and bring in um, Lonin, uh, the other goalkeeper. And then I also wanted to bring in Kubasi, a um, very cheap option. And I had to take out um, one of the other defenders. And I, did, I only had Saliba as my defender. So I kept Saliba, I took out, um, which other defender did I have? Why am I forgetting? Let me go back here. Let me tell you what I did. Let's go to the next match, then 54, quarterfinal. Did I take out Cavayal? So I took, yeah, I took, I took out Cavayal. No, I didn't take out Cavayal. What am I talking about? I took out Akanji because I felt like Madrid are going to score again for sure. And I'm not even sure if Akanji is going to play. Ake is back, Walker is back. So I took out Akanji for um, Kobasi, and that helped me save money to bring in Rafinha to captain today. So there's, I couldn't take any Arsenal players out. But even if I was to take out Arsenal players, I would definitely still keep Saka and Odegaard. Odegaard picked up one of the match last time, and Saka is always involved. And Saliba, just in case there's like a nil-nil there, I'd, happy, I'd be happy to keep Saliba. Rice is probably the one I would take out if I was taking out a player right now from Arsenal. So Baron, I would not have four Arsenal players if I had like a limitless or something. Uh, I've been kind of forced to have four Arsenal players because I had other problems to sort out. But... You never know. If Arsenal win that game 2 0, Baron, I'll be over the moon. Cesar has been equating my fantasy score this week. Riley, that's a big differential. That's a good one. Is there a fantasy game? Yeah, yeah, there will be Euro fantasy. I, I think I did Euro fantasy last time on this channel 2020. Yeah, I also did the World Cup and also did AFCON fantasy once. So, yeah, we're going to have the Euro fantasy this summer. Euro 2024 fantasy football will be fun. Yeah, it'll be very, very fun, man. Of course, Odega is the center of attention, man. Is Real Madrid star is very good. I still can't believe he gave him to us for 30 million or something. He's incredible. He's passing. His passing is crazy. Um, always be here for your fans in supporting Germany. Germany are the home team. I think they could do well in that one. And they also have Kai Havertz, right? They also have Killer Kai. See, Euro and World Cup. Yeah, I did Euro and World Cup. Yeah, that was a long. It was 2020, and it wasn't 2020 because I began YouTube in 2020. Yes, and now we want Odegaard back. Um, 100 million plus Vinicius, three. 100 million plus Vinicius, and then we and then we might talk. Not even 100 percent sure. We might talk after that. Because the players who are coming on for Odegaard in terms of Vieira and um, Smith Rowe, they're okay, but they're nowhere near Odegaard. Also, in terms of pressing, Odegaard presses like a crazy guy up front. 50 million and Rodrigo. Nah. 50 million and Rodrigo, maybe we give you in Ketia. <laughs> maybe we'll give you in Ketia. Then. But the truth is, yes, people are right. We still need to win stuff. When we win stuff, that's when people are going to put us on that level. So I'm hoping that you can win something this season. But yeah, I'm, I've, I've decided to captain Rafinha. I'm not going to change it. Let's hope Barcelona get the job done. Oh, if you beat Bayern Munich tomorrow, I'll be so happy, man. So, so happy. But we could end up facing Man City Real Madrid. That will be very interesting. When are the semifinals? Let me see. Semifinals. 30th April. Actually, not that far. The first leg is two weeks from now. Interesting. So we'll have content for the semifinals straight from um, next week. That's interesting. Thoughts on Cancelo and Ake to Kim and Rudiger? I think Kim is a slight risk cleared because there's delete there. That's very, very risky. Rudiger, I do like. Let me let me see. Let me check it. Um, Kim and Rudiger. Rudiger, I like that pick. He completely covered um, covered um, Haaland. 
Cancel and Arkit to Kim and Rudiger. Cancelo is um let me check how much you have. Cancelo is um load up quickly. We go here. Defenders, Man City and Real Madrid. And who else are you looking for? Cancelo, Barcelona. Defenders. So Cancelo is 6.1. If you take him out and you also take out Ake, Ake is um, 4.4. You'll have 10.5. So if you have 10.5 lead, let's see, 10.5. If you want to bring in Rudiger, where is Rudiger? Where is Rudiger, 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 Rudiger? Rudiger is 5.4. So if you put, brought in Rudiger, you'll have around, is it um, 4.6? Around 4.7. Rudiger you can bring in. And then I'll be tempted to bring in Kubasi. Do you already have Kubasi, Iliad? If you want a Bayern Munich defender, I'd go for Guerrero. I feel like he's going to start. That's what I'd go for Guerrero. How much is Guerrero? Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich. Kim is a slight risk. He might he might end up not starting and then and the problem is the game is tomorrow. Yeah, Guerrero is cheaper. That's what I'd go for Lied. Guerrero. Instead of um Kim. Go for Guerrero and Rudiger. I think you have enough money there. I want you to dance for the next stream if us I'd be so happy, man. Bayern Munich have given us nightmares at their place. Yes, Rudy Gay did pocket talent. I'm um, insane. Man still leads the way. What happened to Liverpool? Nil Atlanta. Atlanta three against that Atlanta. Oh, that was a crazy match, man. Uh, I think Liverpool's energy is um done. I'm hoping ours is not done as well because we end up if we end up losing this coming game again, then problems. I have to go. And I'm about to end it anyway. Ray. Um, so Leon, hopefully that helps out your team. I really appreciate you guys watching us always. Make sure to hit the like button. If you can, the game is starting in a couple of, in 10 minutes. So heading off as well. Really appreciate it. Hit the like button and um, catch up with you guys on the reaction. But before that, um, Klopp is exhausted, says Johnny. He's um, run out of energy, as he said. He's run out of energy. So yeah, answered all the questions. Hit the like button, guys. I appreciate it. Catch up with you on the next one.